when a woman can legally get an abortion might soon change. That's if one representative gets her way. Yeah, Jim Spiewak spoke to the lawmaker who proposed this new abortion law. And Jim, this would make Utah uh, probably one of the most restrictive states on abortion in the country now. Yeah, so guys, here's the bill right here. It's already being called unconstitutional by one group. One thing's for sure, both sides are ready to put up a fight. It's sanctioned in Utah that it's actually legal to dismember a fetus. And because of that, State Representative Cheryl Acton wants to change when abortions can be done. It's supposed to become exponentially risky as you go on in the gestation. Currently, the law limits abortions to 20 weeks. Representative Acton's bill would lower that to 15. She says the five-week difference will cause less pain for the fetus and better protect the mother. It's often for women, later-term abortions, they have uh, much more incidence of medical problems. The bill already has opposition. We're concerned that our taxpayer money is going to be used to defend a bill that is unconstitutional, has no chance of surviving the court appeals process. Lauren Simpson is the policy director for Alliance for a Better Utah. And we would rather see that money go to other things that the state really needs, like education funding or Medicaid expansion. Representative Acton says the cost is still worth the fight. Women's health and fetal pain are two issues that I think we can spend a little bit of money on. Now, Representative Acton did not know exactly what the cost would be to fight this if it gets to that point. And there are some exceptions in this bill. Those are to save the mother's life, rape, and incest. Guys, back to you.